All right, Doc, let's get now back to the breaking news that we told you about at the top of this broadcast. You didn't have to be a baseball fan to be saddened by the news that Hall of Famer and Detroit Tigers legend Al Kaline has passed away. Let's bring in Bernie. Uh, Bernie, such a, a loss for Tigers fans, but really anybody who uh, loves and cares about the city of Detroit, Al Kaline was such an ambassador for the city. Yeah, I think you said at the top it was Mr. Tiger, and that number six was always elegant and wonderful and gracious no matter where he went, on the field or off the field. He passed away at his home in Bloomfield Hills today. He was 85. At this point, we do not know a cause of death. We've got highlights of K-Line, 22 years with the Tigers. One of the best right fielders of all times, 39 years old when he played his final game, had 399 career home runs, 3,000 hits, signed with the Tigers right out of high school the day after graduated. And interestingly enough, in 1955, he had 340, won the American League batting title, still the youngest batting champ in the history of the American League. In the late 80s, uh, Channel 4 used to carry Tiger games, and I had the honor of working with Al Kaline and George Cal. And it was just an amazing experience for a kid out of Washington, D.C., who knew of Al Kaline here in Detroit and knew he had come out of Baltimore. And I'll tell you something else. He was uh, he took you under your his wing and he pointed you in the right direction. Al Kaline was one of a kind yeah. dead today at the age of 85. Devin. Yeah, boy, he really was so special. We're going to have, have more of a conversation about uh, the great Al Kaline coming up a little bit later on. All right, Bernie, uh, okay. that's coming up here at 530.